Los Angeles Police Department. Make yourself known. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today, as promised in the last episode, we are doing an unmarked, undercover LSPD task force episode. So, for this episode, we're gonna kinda, you know, just kinda roll around. Um, we'll go out to like uh, car carjackings, like overdoses, anything that requires the task force. Um, and then also, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be responding to this episode. We're not going to be doing traffic stops, or if we do, we will have to call in a marked unit, obviously because we can't do them because we're unmarked, and uh, that's against the law. So we'll show you the light pattern here. We got just the uh, first uh, first stage one, I guess you call it. Yeah, stage one, just the uh, directorial like, caution lights in the back, or amber lights. And then we got the front solids, red and blue. And the back kind of go a bit faster with now two wide. And then stage three, we got front wig wags. They, uh, we got the, uh, uh, no, not the grill lights. Yeah. And then we got the top in, in, inside of the light bar, like indoor light bar underneath. Uh, flashing blue and black, blue and reds on the back. And then obviously the tail lights like that. So yeah, this is, uh, what we're going to be rolling out with this episode. And, uh, we will see what we can get ourselves into. So we are here in the uh, kind of El Rancho area. We'll start a patrol up here, probably make a swing around Grove area, and you know, just stay in the high crime areas of Los Santos. So one Lincoln 18 to dispatch, show me 1041, 10, 8. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get everything going here and we will uh, see, oh, we got domestic violence. We will head out to that. One Lincoln 18 dispatch, show me responding to that domestic violence call. Oh wow, we're about two miles out. So yeah, we will head out there, and uh, once we get within the area, I will uh, be back. All right. So, alrighty. We will get our taser ready. Uh, I'm guessing probably just right through here. Hey, put down the weapon, sir. Put down the weapon. You're gonna get tased. Put down the weapon. Don't you move! Only an 18 dispatch show me uh, getting once one suspect into custody at this time. Alrighty. Alright, dude. What are you up to now? Alright, let's see. Hey, watch it, man! Alright, let's put you over here. Man, we'll be right back to talk with you. Let me get this guy over here dealt with. Alrighty. Let's search him. Alright, ma'am. What's your name? I'm gonna search you. What a... Anything gonna poke me, stick me, stab me, or hurt me in any way? Let's see. Alright, so he's got a hammer. Marshall Blackstone. Alrighty. Sit down for me, Mr. Blackstone. Alrighty, ma'am. Can you tell me what's going on? <coughs> Came home upset from work. Get to what happened after that. He disappeared to the garage and came back with a hammer. And did he get to attack you after he came back? Yes, he did. Alright, so he's going to jail for domestic assault. Domestic battery or battery, sold the weapon. Alright, thank you. That's all the information I needed. And then you just should probably drop down and run away. <laughs> Alrighty, ma'am. So let's get a pickup out here for him. Come on, dude, sit down so I can call your transport. Where do you think you're going? Alrighty, let's get transport out here, and then we'll go to our car and we'll write up the report. So let's see here. Um, let's get that going. His name was Marshall Blackstone. Create arrest report. Uh, 
Violent crimes. Domestic battery. We'll just get him with, uh, wait, simple battery. No, we'll get him with domestic battery. Alrighty. So, we got him dealt with here. Hopefully our disp or our transport should be here shortly. Alrighty, sir, Trisner, our transport should be here any second now to pick you up. You're getting charged with aggravated or domestic battery because you did hit your wife with a hammer. So I would hope that's his wife. <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. So, yeah, we are going to, uh, hold on, let me actually call. Alrighty, so I'm guessing that's just lagged out. Oh, there's personal transport. <laughs> One Lincoln 18 dispatch, I was code 4 for domestic battery, back 10 8. So, yeah, guys, I will get it back once we get another call. We'll probably head, uh, out to the Grove Street area, and, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next call. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be heading to a stolen emergency vehicle. Just came over the radio. I don't exactly know where he's at, but oh, he's coming this way I believe. So one thing in 18 dispatch, wow we just did every call, so one thing in 18 dispatch, show us responding code 3 to that prisoner, or the uh, prisoner escape, the uh, stolen emergency vehicle. We are sufficient on units. Oh no, we just have one CHP officer. Oh no, we do too. Okay. Oh no. It's stolen CHP charging. Oh come on. Why would they do that? Alrighty, we're gonna be heading westbound La Puerta Freeway, our Legion Island Islands Freeway. Legion Fields actually I believe. Alrighty, we are going to go in for the pit right up here. Okay, that good old J turn. <laughs> Alright, let's get a a few more uh, patrol units out here. Get some LSPD marked units out here. Oh. Huh. What happened to my backup? <laughs> Going in for that other pit. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is some brutal. <laughs> Brutal hit there. Let's try and get another one in here. Alrighty, let's get some more backup out here. Now that we're off the highway. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got one CHP. Oh, he just rammed a CHP officer. Hands up, don't move. There we go. One lead 18 dispatch showed that suspect currently in custody at this time. Final trap, final location is going to be just west of the La Puerto Freeway. Or Legion Fields Freeway. Alrighty. Jesus, dude. Alrighty. You're free to go. Thanks. Jesus. You like stealing police cars, man? Yeah, is it fun? You enjoy it? I'm going to search anything up, poke me, stick me, stab me, or hurt me in any way. Oh, a knife, a lockpick, a pump shotgun. Alrighty, man. You, my friend, are going to jail. So while we wait for his transport, we will write up the arrest port. It's going to be a Julian Calderon. So, traffic. He's going to get reckless driving. Property. 
Uh, and Grand Theft, actually. He stole a police vehicle. Uh, let's see. He had a knife and a lockpick. Possession of stolen property. Oh. Nonviolent crimes. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we got him for possession of stolen government property, grand theft auto, destruction of public property, and reckless driving. Alrighty. So we will read him his charges. Alrighty, Mr. Cauldron, you're getting charged with grand theft auto, reckless driving, possession of stolen property, and destruction of public property. Alrighty. Sweet, there's our prisoner transport. Just in time. So, yeah. When we can 18 to dispatch, show me back code 4 from that 104108, and we will get back on. We will let them clean it up. We'll get investigators out here, or CHP, to come pick up their car. And, uh, yeah. Once again, we are back in the El Rancho area, so I will get back to you guys once we get another call. Alrighty, guys. So, we got an officer panic button. It's just going to be. Right up the road, one Lincoln 18 dispatch showing responding. Unknown what it is at this time. Oh, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay then. Um, that was that. It's, uh, the rest is your investigation, man, not mine. Oh, I'm getting all their weapons. <laughs> Alright, he went Lincoln 18 to dispatch. Show me code 4 from that officer panic button. One suspect down, officer's gonna be continuing investigation along with CHP. Alrighty then, that was, uh, quite the call. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have a homicide. This is something new. One looking 18. Should we respond out to the homicide? So I don't actually know what we would do for this one. But uh, we're about a mile out. So I will uh, head over there. Hopefully our driving can be better than what it was before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we will head out there. So it looks to be over in the Vespucci Canals area. Uh, I don't know of any, like, gang. Uh, affiliated stuff over there, so it could possibly be a revenge thing or uh, a gang murder. I mean, it it could be. It's gonna be at the gas station up here. So, only can 18 dispatch. Show me 23 on scene of the homicide. So we're gonna, it looks like oh, we have several units on scene already. Alrighty. We will park up right here. So I wonder if this is gang related or not. Look at that beautiful CHP car. Oh, there's my car over there. Amazing. Oh, anything I can help with? Yeah, can you start uh, convincing the area for eyewitnesses? Yes, sir. Alrighty, report to me when you are done. Alrighty. Let's see, alrighty. Hey, sir, how you doing? No, sir, I think I'm lying today. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's me. Did you see what happened here? I saw a lady, they were, they were shouting at each other. She gone crazy and stabbed the victim with a knife and left in a car. Alrighty. Did you get the plate number? No, it's just our plate. Yes, it was a blue sedan. No, but it was a blue sedan. Alrighty, alright, thanks. Big help. Yep. Alrighty, so we got a blue sedan. Um, I think he's jumping all over the place. So we got a blue sedan. That's so I'm sure he probably has a plate number. So let's see. How did you see anything that happened here? No, but I saw blue Primo left in a hurry. Oh, almost ran me over. 
Did you get a plate number? Please say so. Please say so. Please say so. Yeah, it was 83JKW177. Alrighty. Thanks for the big help. Sheldon Avenue. Alrighty. Looks like we are going to take someone out. Witness saw a female dark hair stab the victim and left the scene with a blue primo. Vehicle plate number is 83JKW177. Good. Did you get an address? Yes. Dispatch gave us an address. Yes, it's 352, 3562 North Sheldon Avenue. Alright, let's meet there. Let's go. Alrighty. Drive to the suspect's house. One we'll Lincoln 18 to dispatch. Show me head into the stabbing suspect's house. Stabbing suspect's house. That's quite weird. Alrighty, so we got quite a drive. It's going to be all the way up there. Jesus. So, uh, yeah, we will head up there at this time. So I will meet you guys once we get up there. Alrighty, guys, so we are about a quarter mile out from the house. We are going to completely turn off our lights now. Um, we will roll into the area, maybe do a drive-by of the house just to see. Let's get it out first. And then we'll loop back around. Let's make sure we have our pistol ready just in case something happens. So I guess we have one female inside. So we will turn around down here. One Lincoln 18, be advised, I passed the house. No cars outside, but it looks to be one female inside the house. One subject. I bet. So, I think... Is that something? Los Angeles Police Department, make yourself known. Motherfucker! Is this the lady? Hands in the air, now! Asshole! Please don't. Come on, we're if all going to You're going to jail, street. man. You are going to jail. She's got blonde hair, that's the thing. Bag. Oh my god! We'll make an 18 dispatch be advised. They have one subject in custody at this time at the residency. Alrighty, let's search you down. Let's see what you got on you already. If you can't poke me, stick me, stab me, hurt me in any way. Jennifer Gills. The only thing is, she doesn't match the description. What are these for? Alrighty, um... Was it a dark-haired lady or a dark-er-skinned lady? So a female dark hair stamped the victim. Yeah, she didn't have dark hair, though. I forgive you. Okay, we're gonna release her. Eh. The only thing is she doesn't have the knife on her. So I don't know if... You know what, we'll take her in for questioning, I guess. You only get 18, can I get prisoner transport? We're gonna be that address for the uh, lady who stabbed someone. We'll take her in for tra questioning. Um, so, we will wait for prisoner transport to get here. Oh, there they are. loses its textures like every time. <laughs> well, my car is dirty. So we'll just start on Earth. Oh. Oops, wrong button. Alright. Let's uh let's see. We are gonna head back to the station from here. On like an 18 dispatch, show me head back to station go for from that. All right, we can make it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
as always, turn on those post notifications uh, to get alerts every time I go live. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last week, or for Monday's episode at least, where I, uh, I premiered it on Saturday night because that gave out the notification and then no one is aware that it premieres on Monday. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping, or I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's delicious.